shop day today. <laughs> Working in the shop is always something to do when you're out at the farm. There's never nothing to do, but always something. And you know, all day, all morning, all evening, I've had on my mind, on my heart, that we should pray for Israel. Did you know the star of David, shining bright in the evenings right now? <laughs> Early evening, went out last night and saw it and wow, that was pretty cool. Uh, we've been, we live here in Colorado and we're struggling with all the, the smoke that's coming up from the fires in Canada and Wyoming and Utah or wherever the heck they're from. All the mountains are burning down, right? And then all the smoke drifts right into where we're living and it just settles. And, ah. So last night it was really smoky and hard to see the star through that smoke, but uh, Today the wind's been blowing all day. I think we're gonna have a good evening to see it. And so this evening I'm gonna go out and check it out, check it out again. You know, the Star of David hasn't shown itself since the birth of Jesus. And so it's special. Uh but with that being said, I want to pray, guys. Let's pray for Israel. Let's pray for the people who are attacking Israel because it, they're, they're fighting a battle they cannot win. They're going to lose that battle. And in that, they're fighting God. And when you're fighting God, you're pretty much have no fighting chance, you know, you're, you're gonna be destroyed in the end. Israel is a rock laid by God, a stumbling stone. Just as Jesus is the stumbling stone there in Zion, which is in heaven. Whoever stumbles on that stone is gonna be crushed. It's, it's God's word. It's God's will that you're fighting against. And so I think we should pray. We pray for the safety. You know what's weird when I was thinking about this this morning? That, you know, I was praying on my own, in my own heart for Israel this morning. And Lord, that those... Poor folks there, the, the Israelis need protection. God, Heavenly Father, protect the... And then, you know, it's like, what doesn't God know? Right? God knows what we need. He knows what we need. He knows we need protection. He knows we need clothing. He knows we need food. He, he knows what we need need and then we're telling God what we need hey Lord just in case you, your wisdom has failed you let me tell you what I need it's kind of like in, in the days of Moses 
And the people going to Moses and saying, Moses, what the heck? You let us out here into the wilderness just to starve to death? Where's the food? And it's amazing that they're out there in the wilderness and they got everything, right? They got their cattle, they got their sheep, they got the goats, they got their, their ducks, they, they got the chickens and, and whatever else they needed and they got their herds and their flocks. Well, we, we can't be eating that stuff. <laughs> Not eating that, no, we're gonna eat what God provides. And Moses, did you lead us out here into the wilderness only to starve to death and ask God, where, where's the food? And, and Moses said, how dare you ask God, where's the food? Like, don't you know God knows what you need? And surely God is going to provide. He's going to provide for all of your needs. And here we are in our lives telling God what we need and explaining to God, trying to justify why we need it. This is why I need it. And, and I just want you to know what I need and why I need it. And as if God doesn't know these things. And so this is the prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Father, for the love I found in Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for the love we found in you. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your love. 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 Thank you for your love. In your love, I find my protection. In your love, I find my desires. In your love, I find everything I need. Thank you, Father. For your love. Thank you, Jesus. For your love. Thank you for loving Israel. We know they need protection, and I thank you, Father, for your love. I thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Painting the windows for the house. Thank you, Father, for your love.
Father, for your love. You ever done that? Just thank God. I mean, and, and just took a break from telling God what to do and how to do it, explaining to God what you need and why you need it. Just taking that time and just, I praise you, Father, for your wisdom. I praise you, Father, for your love. I look at all the people in North Carolina, Tennessee, Florida, all the other places around the world that have been affected by the floods. And I, I, I see the Father working through all the good neighbors who gather together and pull their talents together to help one another out. I thank you, Father, for your love. Who knows what we need? He knows what we need. I don't have to tell him what we need. I don't have to tell the Father that, hey, we need protection. Israel needs protection, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. For your wisdom. Thank you, Jesus. For your Jesus for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, <laughs> for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. For your love, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me.
Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Loving us. Thank you, Jesus, for your wisdom. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness. Jesus for your strength. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Gosh. Feels good. Feels good to know that we have a good God that loves us and cares about us and, and has the knowledge and the wisdom to do it, to love and care for. Do. What I need to do is trust God in what he's doing. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus knows what that bird is. It's probably a pheasant. Thank you, Jesus. For loving me. Thank you, Jesus. For your care. Thank you, Jesus. For your love. I guess I better whip out the paint and start painting. Pray for Israel. Pray for Israel. And don't forget to pray for yourself. Pray for your neighbors. And be thankful. Be thankful. I love you. And God bless you. Till next time. May the Lord be with you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. <laughs>